Hey everyone, it's Randy with Carkeology, and this little video is a slideshow of vehicles that I saw on a recent trip to the South Orange County Cars and Coffee. This is an every Saturday event down in San Clemente at the Outlet Center down there, and it brings out an amazing array of automobiles, definitely something for everybody. From the vintage stuff to modern exotics, it is definitely a fun event, and it's huge every single Saturday, which shows just how crazy the car scene is in Southern California. From NASCAR racer turned Bonneville car to Studebakers to Porsches, uh, Citroens, uh, Willys, Arrows, uh, all sorts of stuff is here and it's fun to see. Now, obvious, my focus is on the vintage stuff. Uh, I love seeing old things, but uh, there is a large contingent of modern exotics and I'll kind of dart through some of those as well. But uh, for me, it's stuff like this, this Lotus Cortina that pulled up that was absolutely stellar, gorgeous little car. Uh, cool Ford Fairlane with its big gaping grille. There's another picture of that Cortina. What a trick little car. Uh, Marmon Harrington Ford uh, 4x4 truck. I drove the Wolseley down, which was a fun counterpoint to a lot of the big American stuff that showed up. Cool Outlaw Porsche 356. Love those big dual carbs in there. That car looked like an awful lot of fun. Beautiful Alfa Romeo. Uh, a couple of them down there. Uh, I took a few pictures of this Packard. My apologies for that, but I'm sort of Packard-centric. Always love those cars. I don't know what this was, but it certainly looked like fun. Um, large variety of modern Mustangs and modern muscle stuff, and of course the supercars. Now, I've got a very passing interest in this stuff. It's well beyond my pay grade, uh, and I just don't have the knowledge or the desire to have that sort of machine. Um, but I can certainly enjoy walking around and checking them out and seeing just how the crowd reacted to a lot of these modern supercars. And they were out in force. It was amazing to see some of these machines. Some of them, I really had no clue what the hell they were. Love the interior of that Ferrari, though. That was a really tough-looking machine. Nice wheel choice as well. Aston Martin, okay, fine. I'll take one of those. That would be awesome. Modern going Mercedes, sure, what the heck certainly would be an awful lot of fun to drive around. Uh, this is more my speed. Give me the patina of old Volkswagen single cab or an old school Bronco done up modern to go blast through the hills. This thing was super badass. This is a 55 Chevy wagon turned ultimate 4x4. The details on that were totally insane. And I ended up following that car out of the show. And it was amazing. Uh, big motor in that Trans Am. Here's a Chrysler Imperial with nice black California plates on it. Beautiful car. Here's that wild NASCAR turn land speed record thing with its exhaust pointed out the nose of the thing. Certainly not street legal. Neither is this kitty car with the cute doggy in it, but it was fun to take its picture as well. People love the Wolseley. I don't know what a VinFast is. Never heard of it before. This thing was pretty awesome. Uh, great colors and stuff on that. Uh, modern wild Aston Martin of I don't know what model. This Koenigsegg ended up bringing out a lot of attention. People love seeing that thing. Um, or maybe it was a Pagani or a Linguini or some such shit. Anyway, uh, back to cool old stuff. Porsches, love those things. And here I am driving out of the show and on my way back to the lab. Uh, it was fun to follow these cars out there and see all sorts of weird stuff like aliens on motorcycles. So I hope you enjoyed following me along on the South Orange County Cars and Coffee trip. It was a trip indeed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.